Well, joining me live this morning is Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey, who has backed a candidate, Olivia, rather, not Olivia Chow, and a bylaw. Yeah, gotta get that right. I gotta <laughs> get that right. So, uh, obviously, Olivia Chow is a front runner, but you're backing Anna Bailao. My first question for you is why Anna? Well, over the last four months, I've had the distinct honor of serving our city and seeing what it takes to, to run it. I've seen the challenges that our city faces, and I know that Anna Bailao is the one to tackle those head, head on, and in, also in a collaborative way with council. And uh, it is about working with our strong council members, and I think she's the right person to do that. Perfect. Well, when you endorse someone, you're not just endorsing the person, of course, you're endorsing their policies. So let's talk a little bit more about some of the promises that Anna is making. One of the biggest ones and the biggest issue for voters is affordable housing. She's committed to building a lot of housing, but hasn't committed to affordable housing, hasn't said exactly how much of it will be affordable that she's vowing to build. In 2019, her voting track record shows that she also voted against extending the amount of affordable housing that the city's offering up in their Housing Now program, something you also voted against. So I want to ask you, knowing that this is a big issue for voters and that Anna's not really focused around the affordable aspect of it, is this something that concerns you? Well, I think Anna is focused around affordable housing. And you have to remember that there are many different ways to get there. So what we've done in the city of Toronto is we have relaxed uh, rules around how homes can be divided up, for example. So we have approved multi-tenant homes. We've approved multiplexes. That's work that Anna, over the last 12 years as planning chair, she really led the foundation for us to get that done in this term. Uh, we've also have inclusionary, uh, sorry, we have um, the inclusion of affordable housing now around our transit nodes. That's something that's been rolled out. And we have the Housing Now program, which is making city sites available for affordable housing. So at those sites, though, it's important that we are working in partnership with developers. They're fronting the capital costs that we need. And so uh, it, is, it is a difficult balance to get the two. Um, and we continue to work on that to, to make sure that we get affordable housing. But it is multifaceted. It's not one program alone. It is a large suite of programs. And Anna understands that. And she's the one that's best equipped to deliver on it. Well, let's talk a little bit about that funding. Of course, we're facing this big budget shortfall. All candidates have their answers. Anna's is that taxes will not go up, property taxes will not go up, and that's just looking to the feds and the province to help fill that gap. Now, talking to you back in March when you were first put forward as deputy mayor, you were saying, hey, I'm talking to the feds, I'm talking to the province, they're not coming forward. So knowing that this is her only plan of attack for this budget shortfall, is that a concern for you as well? No, absolutely not. Uh, we cannot property tax our way out of the problem that we have. The hole is just simply too big. We need a fiscal framework for Toronto that works. And we're starting to see that the Ontario big city mayors we met yesterday, we're calling on that too, all of the Ontario big city mayors. The Federation of Canadian Municipalities is calling on that as well. So there is momentum growing across Canada saying we need a new deal for municipalities. The pressure is on the federal government around that. And I think that Anna is the right person to take that across the finish line. For the provincial government, they are auditing our books right now. That is something that we have underway. Uh, in July, we have an important report that is coming to Council that says what are the revenue tools that are available with us that starts the foundation of the conversation with the province they are at the table with us and I think Anna Bailao is the right one to again get that deal with the provincial government okay my last question for you really quick here as deputy mayor what would your advice be for Anna if she does end up winning well I think Anna is is a wonderful person. I think she just needs to keep being who she is. She is collaborative. That is something that you need to do with council to get things done. But she can also be a fighter when she needs to. And we've seen that time and time again. We have seen her fight for affordable housing. You have to remember that Anna is the one that secured $1.3 billion from the federal government for Toronto community housing retrofits. She does care about people. She cares about them a lot. And uh, she just needs to be true to who she is. And I know she'll do that. All right, good words. Deputy Mayor Jennifer McKelvey, 